Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salah Khan here and today with the next topic in the discrete time Fourier transform and this is going to be a shorter one is the convergence. The convergence issues with the Fourier transform. Okay, so now let me write the relation first. The, the, the expression is x of e of j omega is equal to a summation in running from a negative infinity to positive infinity x of n exponential of j omega n and i believe it's a negative yes it is a negative so this is the analysis equation of the of the discrete time Fourier transform now we we, uh, we define you know certain uh, uh, rules or certain criteria for the convergence of this so the the, the basic rules are the very same as we've seen in the and in the continuous time Fourier transform the thing is what what do we have to do the conditions are what that this signal to make this summation uh, uh, as a what as a finite as a converging sum you need to have conditions on this x of n so what would be that x of n must be absolutely summable yes absolutely summable and what does that mean it means that if you uh, take the absolute of x of n and then you do what you take the sum from the negative infinity to positive infinity so this must give you a finite value this must be the first condition the second condition in if in terms of energy it must be a finite energy signal x of n must be a finite energy signal yes and what does this mean how do you calculate the energy of it so you take x of n you take the absolute of it you take a square of it and and and, and then you do what yes you take the the integration the integration over an infinite interval again so this should also be equal less than infinity so if these conditions are met the 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 Fourier transform would be a converging one this summation would be a finite summation and that is what the conditions for the convergence of discrete time Fourier transform are similarly now we have the synthesis equation we have the synthesis equation of this so that is a 1 upon 2 pi integration limit is over 2 pi x of exponential of j omega exponential of j omega n with respect to omega have a look now if we talk of the convergence of this equation so does it have any convergent issue no it does not have any convergence issue why this would always be a converging one okay so we'll always converge why because because of the finite interval integration because of finite interval integration now if uh, you take this integration uh, the limits of integration to be over interval of 2 pi so you would get the proper x of n right but if you what if we do we take the interval less than a 2 pi if we take the less than a 2 pi so what would happen is that the right hand side would not converge properly to this x of n this the result from this would not be exactly equal to the left hand side the original signal x of n if you increase the interval from 2 pi so what would happen the repetition would start because after the 2 pi the Fourier transform would repeat itself because of its periodic nature fine converges as the integration is over a finite interval if the integration interval is less than 2 pi the answer from the right hand side will not be exactly equal to the left hand side that is it if you compare it to the continuous time Fourier transform so what do you have you can have another fundamental difference as well between the discrete time and the Fourier transform uh, and the continuous time Fourier transform if you see the continuous time Fourier transform so what are the relations the relations are x of j omega is integration negative infinity to positive x of t exponential of negative j omega t with respect to t right and similarly x of t is equal to 
1 upon 2 pi integration negative infinity to positive x of j omega exponential of j omega t with respect to omega so have a look does it not have convergence issues both the equations both the equations over here have what have the the the, the convergence issues both equations and what do I mean by both? The synthesis and analysis. So both the equations over here have convergence issues. Because of what? Because of infinite interval of integration. So maybe this integration does not convert, this gets diverging. Maybe this integration over infinite range does not convert, it diverges. So that is another fundamental difference. We've seen the basic difference in the field. The first was that uh, that this was a periodic and the other was non-periodic and whatever it is. We've seen that in the previous video, but this is another difference that in the continue, in the discrete time Fourier transform, the, the, the analysis equation, uh, you know, it it may not convert. It may have some issues. We have applied conditions to that. And the second, that is the synthesis equation. So it does not have convergence issues because of the finite integration limits. But in the continuous time case, both the analysis and the synthesis equation have convergence issues. It may not convert. Why? Because of the infinite limits of integration. That is it. That is it. Let me see if I have anything in the book. Okay, remain valid and continuous Fourier transform converges as a summable a finite energy. Mm, so we don't have we don't have anything to say. They have given the example of an impulse signal. Something is written down there. Impulse signal. We've seen the previous video. You know the, the Fourier transform is one, but uh, you read these two uh, two or three points a little, you know, yourself. So I end this video over here. I end this video over here, but before ending, I tell you that uh, the coronavirus third layer is extremely dangerous nowadays, especially in our country and not in our country, rather at a higher rate is our neighboring country, India. The, continue, the, 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 the situation is worsening day by day. So you need to take care of yourselves. And what is taking care? You don't need to go outside if you don't have any important thing to do. And if you go outside, you, you, you just have to wear a mask. We people don't bother even to wear a mask. And that is what make us problems. So anyways, keep yourself safe uh, and, and follow the, the SOPs you know, given by the government. Fine. And that's all for today for me. See you in the next lecture very soon. Till then, take care. Goodbye.